Well, good afternoon folks. We are here in MSC Arabia. We are on a European cruise this time. This is a cruise that I said I'll never do. I'll never do a European one. I'll never do in winter. And I'll never do cruise for the cruise sake. But here we are. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous room. This time I let MSC choose um, our cabin, but it still got it's got a partial sea view but we are on top of the view so it's very nice it's a nice sitting area a bin which is a um, recycling bin loads of space four drawers stool to sit on there's a table on top i think it pulls out this is the fridge there are lots of stuff in here we'll take those out and put our own things in there glass mugs some tetley tea milk and you can make your teas and coffees here lots of spaces on the wall to st store your stuff a tv right on where the beds are the twin beds are ready for us traveling with a friend so that's how we have twin beds don't look very wide but let's see how it turns out and a huge mirror that is one big mirror night light oh two night lights very nice very nice. There's USB chargers next to both beds, which is so useful. And night lights by both beds. And night label, night bedside tables on both sides. Plenty of storage in there as well. Some more space on the side here. Oh, heavy doors. Oh, this balcony is super spacious. On um, MSC Seashore, we had a wide one. But this is huge. That is a very big balcony. Oh my goodness. And look at that view. Even though we have views of the lifeboats, but they have we have enough of a view. And of the sunset in Southampton. Oh. We do have a very wide balcony, but we have view from upstairs. Anybody standing there would be able to see us. Um, so that's the uh, so this is floor 8 that is floor 9 I think you need to be floor 10 or above for not to be seen by anyone but the other um, thing is that you you have a very big balcony if you don't mind being overlooked okay, let's go check out the bathroom before we go into the bathroom let's check out this wardrobe area not the biggest It's got um, the safe, safety box instructions, some hangers, um, shelves, some more drawers here. I guess it will do for a week. A very reasonable size shower, toilet. Looks a little bit tight, but, um, but it's fine, it will do. There's some storage there as well for makeup and all, uh, and for toothbrushes and toothpaste and everything. Nice new ship is launched in 2023, so we are one of the early ones, but the embassy has kept it for Europe, which is quite surprising. They didn't move it to the Caribbean or something for winter. And it doesn't seem too full, but let's see how it goes when we have to book for theatres and all. So we'll check in at the end how the bed size went and all that. Oh, there's some swimming pool towels as well. I didn't notice. All right, see you in a bit. This is the Delphi Theater and it is huge. I think it's probably bigger than the one on seashore. It would take a lot of people. So we were trying to book our place and there were still 150 places left. Um, tonight is only a 35 minutes show. And uh, this is our first night, um, we just bought it. They're, this show is running three times tonight, which is really good. So everybody gets a chance to see the uh, show. And if it's good, we'll come back for the 10.30 or 9.30 one again. This is Southampton from the Eurybia.
this is the outdoor seating area but it is dead of winter so nobody is here otherwise normally the pools are really full somebody is checking out the water temperature I doubt if it's warm enough to swim we have a very late sail over today so it is beautiful sunset lifeboats right here if we need it but I don't think in Eurybia we need that but um, the sun's just set and it is beautiful orange sky and we have a great view outside of our balcony our first buffet dinner something to stretch our stomachs before our um, meal in an hour or so so just trying out what uh, the buffet has to offer well here we are at the end of a week can't believe how fast this week has gone and today tonight is our last night we are at the last cruise port in Le Havre and overall it's been um, a really good cruise um, the food has been a little bit hit and miss but there's always some other option available um, so we've eaten a lot a lot on this cruise the room is really good size really big uh, spacious sofa bed um, plenty of storage space the only problem is the beds quite small it's um, two singles but the single is very small so even if it's together then still it's not like a king size bed so that's been the only major problem that I would say that say about this um, this room and there is a very large balcony on deck eight the, we have obstructed views but it's not too bad and we haven't really sat outside because it's been really cold we asked our room attendant to put all the things from the fridge onto this well we asked her to remove everything she put it up here um, so that it's easy for us to use the fridge it's a pretty decent sized fridge enough charging points the bathroom the shower gel and shampoo aren't of the highest quality but um, just basically bring your own with you otherwise the towels are really good quality the bathrooms all nice and new and clean so nothing to complain about plenty of storage space as well um, toilet tissue not the greatest but it's quite strong so it's not too bad would I recommend MSC Eurybia? Absolutely. Would I recommend coming on a European cruise in winter? I don't think so. But we paid um, only about £850 for two people and we booked it very, very last minute. So in that respect, it's worthwhile. You know, everything's included, all your entertainment, all your food, etc. So if you like this video, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time for travel and review videos. Bye.